But when you are buying a lottery ticket, if it is filled with these aspirations, you should be knowing that you are buying a lottery ticket. In your mind, please bifurcate into the real product or service and the emotion for which you are paying or you are getting paid. Chances of you win, winning that uh, uh, Dreams 11 are far better rather than becoming IAS. Yes, your hard work gonna matter. Yes, your strategy gonna matter. Yes, your um, uh, commitment gonna matter. But our selections or rejections has a lot to do with other factors. Am I audible? Clearly? Formally or casually? <laughs> I'm here to take this opportunity to share a few things. And it starts with a basic thing. If you are an e-summit participant and you're looking at what is happening around in terms of uh, the, uh, the commerce and the management and the things like uh, getting to the startup thing, then I'll start with a very basic thing. Right from the beginning, we always needed marketplace. That's, there's absolutely nothing new in it. But I'm sure you understand that after a while, when this industrial revolution came, we started consuming more than the products we were buying. It all started when the standardization took place and something called brands came up. And we all know about brands it's, or the e-summits are nothing but, a, uh, but about how to build brands and then maybe monetizing these brands. So let us understand this basic in my understanding, which I know why what it has to do with the work I do, I'll come to that immediately. But it should be easy for you to understand that now when we buy a particular product with a certain brand, we take a product, but more than product, we buy some intangibles with it. It has to do with emotions, right? You can think of any product, any product, right? and any emotion, in fact. I'm a literature teacher, literature student. So I know ki we have some nine rasas. So nine primary emotions, uh, sthai bhav as it is called. And obviously there are other sanchari and vyabhichari bhavs. In my literature, it is so told that these are 33. But all these emotions, one or two, or specifically about one, for example, I remember that Onida TV, neighbors envy, owners pride, envy, can anybody think that something called envy can be monetized? But it was. In fact, any brand, any brand you talk about will serve you some intangible emotions and things like that along with the product or service it is selling. What is interesting is that if you buy just the product, you end up paying less and at the same time, even the person who's selling get a lesser margin. But the moment you add emotions to it, margin become bigger and the one who's paying start paying higher. What I'm saying is very simple. Whether you're buying it or selling it, in your mind, please bifurcate into the real product or service and the emotion for which you are paying or you are getting paid. And then you will realize that from some hundred years plus, all our emotions are being bought, are being sold. There are marketplaces about it. And there is nothing new in it. Anybody who has studied little marketing and advertisement know it. But in recent years, what has happened is what I want to discuss. Because it has to do with my work. All these as em emotions aside, there is another thing that is being hugely monetized, being bought, being sold and there is a huge marketplace for it. It is called aspirations. Again, the aspiration is nothing new in here. But in last few years, it has become so surprisingly large market. That if you do the little number crunching, you will be surprised that what is happening. I use GPT, chat GPT for this thing, but you can do it yourself. For example, 
let's talk about civil services aspiration. It's an aspiration being sold. I need not tell you who is selling it. There are definite marketplace which is selling it. But do a little number crunching. How much are IS officer draw? In the beginning, it's around 80,000 rupees. 75, 80,000 rupees depends. 3% is an annual increment. And let's assume there are five promotions he'll be getting. Some may get six, seven, but then there are other services which may get only three, four. So let's take an average of five promotions. How much an IAS officer will get in terms of salary right from the day he joined to the day he retires? Let's take it around 30, 33 years, 35 years. I did a number crunching thing and I have these figures. These are interesting figures and that's why I'm sharing it. Uh, the figure came out to when I, uh, in entire 33 years, I took the number, same thing, 80,000 to begin with, 3% increments, 5 promotions, 12% increment in every promotion. The total figure when adjusted for 6% inflation comes out to be 2 crore 38 lakh rupees. 2 crore 38 lakh. It means if I have to pay the entire salary today for the for IAS officer or any civil servant, it will be around 2 crore 38 lakh rupees. 800 is the other total number every year. Comes out to be around 1600 to 2000 crore. Let's take it 2000 crore. 2000 crore for entire life work in one year, right? What is so aspiration to become IAS officer is collectively taken for the nation is only as IAS, IPS, uh, civil services, foreign services, all 22 to 25 services taken is just 2000 crore rupees. And what is the size of industry that is making it this aspiration being bought and sold? The figure was last time taken 58,000 crore rupees, the 23, it will become 1,33,000 crore rupees in 2028. I put the same figures into chat GPT again. Tell me what exactly is the figure if it is, it is taken for 30 years, adjusted for the, for the inflation. It came around 6 lakh crore rupees. So everybody, all of you who want to aspire to become IS officer are buying the product for which the entire cost is just 2000 crore rupees. And the process of selling this aspiration is many, many times that. I said IAS just to make you a little happy. Same applies to JE. Right? Neat and other aspirations. My question is, and it's a very basic, simple question. If government has to pay just 2000 crore rupees, just 2000 crore rupees for the entire batch, everybody who will go to the Masuri in one year, is bought in 2000 crore rupees. I mean, this is a bad word saying bought, but I mean, the services are taken in. And the industry size is 138,000 crore rupees. Let's take it 1 lakh crore rupees. How much is the tax that government will collect on this? <laughs> that will be a lot more than the salaries of all these people for 35 years. I want, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm just giving you the Ponzi scheme that's running. Because this aspiration thing. I hope you're getting this. That actually those who are not getting selected to the JE, getting unfortunately to the VIT, wanted to be an IT, or maybe to IITs, you paid, you paid in when you were in quota for the people who got selected. If you don't understand the economics, dive it again. This year, the national education budget, union budget, no, I'm not counting the state because states, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a concurrent subject, the state also spent it, but I'm taking only the union budget. Is entire, the, all central universities, all IITs, all NITs, everything taken together, it's there in the budget document. was collected as education says. 
directly paid in terms of education sales. Government ended up spending just around 35,000 crore rupees on the education of the entire nation. And the industry size, 6 lakh crore. So effectively, the entire nation's education is being funded by quota. The aspirations. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're an entrepreneur, you want to become an entrepreneur, then you need to understand that it's not the product that's being sold, it's the dream, it's the aspiration that's are being sold and bought. If you're able to understand this basics, these basics will make you understand that effectively you can either be buying this lottery ticket, why lottery ticket? 8 lakh will apply. I'm talking about civil services here. 8 lakh will apply. Finally, 800 will be selected. Only 150 will be IAS. Out of those 150 IAS, already 75 to 80 are already in service. Some other service. You get, end up getting around 80, 75, 80. 8 lakh, 80. Chances of you win, winning that uh, uh, Dreams 11 are far better rather than becoming IAS. You are buying a lottery ticket and you are buy, buying the lottery tickets is very important for all of them. Because unless you buy this lottery ticket, this Ponzi scheme will not run. They want more and more people to aspire to become, to clear the JE and JE advance and fail. So that others who are getting selected can be funded directly or indirectly by taxes and otherwise. And it's happening in almost all spheres of life, including unfortunately the startup ecosystem that is also selling aspirations. It should be difficult for you to understand that the failure rate in startups is around 99.5%. Maybe more. Then why the entire nation is following only handful of dreams? Group A LJ, take group A, become a clear JE, become an engineer. Take group B, clear NEET, become a doctor. And after doing both of these, aspire to become IAS officer, you are continuously buying these tickets, lottery tickets where the successful rate is very low. What I am suggesting? I am suggesting that stop buying the lottery tickets. Real money is in selling the lottery tickets. I mean look at this industry. I, as I said it, the rate of Growth in this industry is 15%. 15%. I have my wonderful friend Vivek Atre here. He was a sitting IAS officer. Now he is making IAS officers. There is more money in making IAS officer than actually becoming IAS officer. Jokes apart, the basic thing is that there is nothing wrong in having a ticket, lottery ticket as far as it is legal. But when you are buying a lottery ticket, if it is filled with these aspirations, you should be knowing that you are buying a lottery ticket. You should be under impression that it is a, as Aajkal ke usme bolte na, this Dreams 11, mein, it's a game of skills. It's not a game of skills. Okay, okay. It's true that your commitment will matter, your hard work will matter. That it will, but it will take you only this far. Because your selection, your rejection, I'm doing it for 22 years, trust me, is not entirely the function of your commitment and hard work. It is not. No matter what motivational speaker is going to say all around the country. Yes, your hard work is going to matter. Yes, your strategy is going to matter. 
yes your um, uh, commitment gonna matter but our selections or rejections has a lot to do with other factors and these factors are beyond your control these are your privileges and your deprivation they play very very important role i interviewed that candidate air2 akshat jain remember proposed to this glass of water but water remember or not okay have you seen the comments on this how proposed to the glass of water there are many many girls drooling over this guy anyway so akshat jain iit guwahati pass out b design father ips officer mother revenue service officer can you see the privileges is it difficult to see the privileges do you think i mean this is a guy where even the friends coming to meet the parents are either sitting ips officer or revenue service officer the so called motivation is littered all around if you look at the privileges of this person you will realize that yes he is appearing in the examination where the question paper is same interview board is same still the contest is not same the finishing line is same but the starting line may be different for 8 lakh people your privileges and your deprivation plays equally important role in your final selection so saying that it is only a matter of commitment strategy and uh, hard work is misplaced because i have seen more failure stories than success stories you have seen and failure stories have equal amount of lessons to teach than success story mostly more to teach than success stories because all success stories including chakki pe kaam karega aur ias ban jayega ips ban jayega have this strange bias called survivors bias what is survivors bias it started in second world war i remember I correctly if i remember they were trying to figure out that bomber planes bombing planes what is the problem with their safety so to find out they started doing research on the planes they which they were coming back after bombing so they used to analyze very carefully kahan goli lagi hai where it, it's got, uh, it got burst what are the other loose points here but later when the world war over and this whole process was studied they came out that this process was flawed why because the planes were being studied with the planes which came back and actually the plane would which suffered the most damage were the planes who never came back similarly when you try and inspire yourself with the success stories you have this survivor bias for the same traits the same hard work same commitment same strategies there are nine other people out of 10 who could not clear but you look at the person who had finally cleared so you end up having that survivor bias and have try to imitate the person whose privileges may be different from you whose deprivations might be different from you but here i am not here to make you ias officer that's what not my promise was i was very clearly told that it is a e summit thing so i am saying look at this opportunity doing lot more than that I, most cas are not making as much money as the people who are making people ca 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 coaches ias coaching are making more money and getting more reputation they are on the on the on the front page of popular magazines november 23 the outlook had four teachers on its cover page all of them making ias officers vikas the vikirti alak pande avadoja and khan sir ias officers as i told those who are making ias officer are getting more money reputation whatever you want to draw from any um, uh, industry same is true for cs same is true for medical sciences same is true for almost all aspirations you are talking about 
there is more money in making people do trading on the stock exchange teaching them to trade rather than actually trading because more people will lose money and obviously some of them will gain money i hope i'm making everything clear here i'm spilling the beans the aspiration is new commodity analyze yourself well that what kind of emotions and aspiration you are consuming and more than that you have to realize that whether or not you are investing enough in emotions and aspirations because here time is changing very fast and there are new changes new challenges coming to it the biggest is ai my place is around 1600 1800 kilometers from this place i teach hindi literature i am speaking in english here why would vit invite a hindi speaker of university of delhi to vit just think of it it's not a independent choice of your organizers i am challenging that nothing against organizers sorry but it is the ai it is the algorithms which keep throwing vijay chauhan's face again and again on your screen you look at it you stay for only 5 second 5 second it lies eternity when it comes to your instagram you stay for 5 second algorithm know that the vijay chauhan can be thrown again it learn i am told 50% of the vit is computer science is it मार्केट में इन्फ्लेशन आप ही लोगों ने फैलाया है यू गाइस गो ना बी कंडेम्ड विथ टीसीएस सो सो वंस यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट विजेंद्र चौहान रील वंस अगेन दिस विल कम टू योर थिंग एंड आफ्टर अ वाइल रिपीटेड वन टू थ्री फोर यू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग in the dream to which vijay chauhan's face is associated civil services mock interviews things like that and suddenly you the idea crop up let us call vijay chauhan here it's not your independent choice but that's not my concern keep inviting me i'll be happy to come <laughs> but my concern is that your dreams and aspirations are similarly shaped that the dreams you are talk about the aspirations you talk about are not your independent choice the algorithms the ai is shaping them influencing them actually determining them you even without you even realize it if i ask a student to whom um, uh, in karol bag or mukherji nagar that is the area where upsc aspirants stay most of them will claim it is their choice If I ask them why बचपन से सपना था how can somebody have बचपन से सपना about civil services? That is a doomed society where बचपन से सपना is to become a babu. You should be aspiring about परियां and uh, uh, to become a कुली uh, uh, become a conductor. That's what childhood is all about. The colors and everything. why bachpan se everybody would like to become a, a, a officer in sarkari daftar so your dreams are being robbed because there is an aspiration industry that want to decide about your aspirations your dream and then it's not just coaching mentoring industry they are collective industries they are influencers they are ott platforms they are popular culture they are motivational speakers they are they are working in, in in tandem to shape to determine your aspiration and then sell it to yourself you have one you are deprived of your actually own independent uh, dreams then you are buying somebody else's dream and then you are part of that 3 lakh 6 lakh crore industry and then you are funding those who get selected that's how it's being work so my request my wisdom is please own your dreams don't let silly quotes decide you which were coded in some tcs 
coding what coolies right let please decide yourself about your dreams otherwise if you want to get a plunge into the aspiration industry then rather than buying ticket sell ticket there's more money in selling ticket than buying ticket with this thank you very much